Hi, this is John Hovenessian. This video shows the use of the AmbioLens amniotic membrane disc. This is a patient who had a non-healing corneal epithelial defect caused by prior exposure to mitomycin for treatment of an ocular melanoma. A bandaged contact lens had been used for a number of weeks. In this step, we're using the side of a 15 blade to slightly roughen the edges and do slight debriding of epithelium surrounding the non-healing defect in this eye. We want to leave the corneal surface uh, a little bit dry to allow the best adherence of amniotic membrane and remove all the excess epithelium. We need a defect that's at least three millimeters in size. Handle the amnion with non-tooth forceps and place the basement membrane side down against the cornea with the IOP facing the cornea. Place it uh, flat and dry onto the surface so that it will adhere best. You can then use the forceps to smooth out the membrane, making sure that it stays centered on the whole cornea, even though the first point of contact was over the epithelial defect. The last step is to take a contour contact lens using non-tooth forceps and place it down onto the amnion without sliding it around so there's minimal tractional forces that would uh, potentially dislodge the amnion. The stria and air bubbles that you'll see under the amniotic membrane will fairly quickly disappear.